get the show started. Those rare humans like that. Those one of ones. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's like, why? You know, when you see a, a Conor McGregor, like, how the fuck is he so much more interesting? Like, what's going on? Like, what's going on when someone just blows up and you just want to see them fight more than anything? Conor has that thing about him because of his talent and his personality. Right. Right. And his conversation. Like, yeah. Just when you hear him talk, just to hear somebody from that country talk, that shit just sounds fucking crazy. <laughs> Especially when they talking that shit. Like, you know that, <laughs> I'll fucking take his fucking head off and fucking break That's his fucking, fucking bollocks. Yeah, like that shit just sound like a fucking movie to me. One of them motherfucking <laughs> uh, Guy Ritchie movies. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, angry British men. They're, they're the best sounding angry English yes. people. <laughs> Fuck yes. The best sounding angry people for sure. Connor's going to give you a sound bite. You can believe that. That's hilarious. So true. I mean, and that shit talking just makes it so much more interesting when it actually comes to the fight. But that's what we love about sports is that you can talk shit as a fan and as a, as a person that's actually in the middle of the situation. Yeah. And that's what we love about it the shit that we do is that we could talk shit and back it up and when the fight is over with you know it is what it is we got to move on because i like when somebody talking shit and then they do the press conference they do a little pushing and all that shit then they get in the fight 20 minutes later and he got his ass kicked yeah and then you got to interview him he'd be like well you know i, got, I respect him now you know i got, I got respect for him now <laughs> i love that when somebody earns their respect